Hi, this is Mary from Reviewer's Diary. Welcome to my messy coffee table. And yes, I am stuck with El Doggo who's chewing his bone. This trying all the things has gone completely out of control. I had decided that I wanted to include my April and May Beauty Fix box, my products from my May Ipsy bag, and now I've received beauty test tube. Now I am already working on the video trying all the things. So this will go at the beginning as will the unboxings. So I did tape separate unboxings for both of them, but I did not post them as separate videos. So I'm not going to, they'll be part of this video, the trying all the things video. And for heaven's sake, oh my God, it's just so much stuff. So hold on while I take out the stuff for the beauty test tube so that I can talk about um, beauty test tube and follow it up with the other unboxings. So hold on, I'll be right back. So this is the May June installment of Beauty Test Tube. These things were loose in the box because they wouldn't fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and wow, there this is uh, pretty much chock full. Chock full is a good thing in my books. Okay, here's everything out of the box, and I have downloaded the booklet. Um, they no longer give you a booklet, which is good, less um, waste. So you scan this QR code and you open up your booklet on your phone. So the first thing and the most expensive thing, I believe, is this $125 Glow Beauty Serum. Uh, it is anti-stress CBD drops. Hmm. Calming serum. Huh. Let's see. Let's see what this says. Okay, powered by 1,000 milligrams full spectrum CBD and skin boosting adaptogens. The luxurious serum is clinically proven to not only reduce redness and sensitivity, but also boost radiance and clarity. According to a study conducted by the brand, 90% of users said their skin felt calmer after one week of use. Uh, after you cleanse, you put it on, and so on and so forth. Um, I am currently using my vitamin C serum, so I won't be breaking this out yet. Uh, maybe, I don't know. This is trying all the things, so this may be one of those things that I don't try. I don't know, let's wait and see how things work out. The next item is this New Beauty, not New Beauty, I'm sorry, You Beauty. It's completely wrapped in plastic. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but it says, filled to the brim with long chain hyaluronic acid, this moisturizer delivers enough hydration to keep your skin plump and luscious, blah, 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 blah. It's an incredibly light feeling, it's like sample size feeling. I gotta take the plastic off, I'm curious. I know this is an expensive brand. I honestly feel that it's overpriced, but look at that. That's like a third of an ounce of moisturizer. It's 0 0.33 ounces. And it says to smooth over your face and neck every day. It's a moisturizer, but it's really one of those things that I would put in the category of travel size. I'll try it, maybe it's magical. This is actually priced at $48. I think it's an overpriced brand, honestly. But when you go to the website, everything really is that expensive. Okay, next thing is, on the in the booklet, is this Dose & Co Pure Collagen. I have to do a little bit more reading about this. I'm not sure how I feel about collagen. I know that anything that goes into your stomach is hit by acid in your stomach, and I just don't know that this really translates to um, actually do anything for you. Anyway, uh, Hello is one of the items. This is priced at $4, it says. I believe it is a hand sanitizer, yep. With hand sanitizer slowly piling up in our purse, we need to narrow them down to one that does it all. Hello Spray comes in four bright, unique scents and is made from plant-derived alcohol, allowing us to say goodbye to dry, cracked hands. Okay, 
next item in the booklet, I'm following along with the booklet, is this David's toothpaste. This toothpaste, this tube goes for $10. That's pretty expensive for a toothpaste. Huh. But it's really full. I mean, it's 5.25 it's 5 ounces. It's not your typical rubber tube. What you do is you put on this key and you twist the key up. So I think I'm going to start using that right away because that looks like something that would be really good to use. The next item that came in this box is uh, floss. Let's see, what is it called? What is this? It's $18. For days when you're looking for a sheer tint instead of a bright pop of color, Floss Beauty Lip Advocate will be your go-to with four different universally flattering colors. You're sure to find your own. So um, I'll open this and try it when, I, when we reach it in the trying all the things. We also got this dual surface scrubber from, it is kind of, you can feel how rough it is. Uh, it's basically like, well, it's $5, not expensive. Mild is the strength on the label. So anyway, when your skin needs a little bit of extra love, reach for this full body exfoliator, which works its skin smoothing magic in the shower with just a tiny squeeze of body wash. Okay, so now that we've done the unboxing for New Beauty Test Tube, I'm going to segue over to the unboxing for Beauty Fix and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Followed by that will be the face showing narrative about trying all the things. I'll, you'll see that I am on there, but I appear to be totally clueless. Um, so this is being taped after that was and so i'm definitely going to combine everything hi this is mary from reviewers diary one thing that i do want to do is take the samples from these boxes and use them in sample sunday and then i will fill it out with uh, samples from that bag um, so stay tuned i'm going to open both boxes Okay, so I have the April and May beauty boxes from Beauty Fix. I went back to Beauty Fix because I love Derm Store. I love all the stuff they sell pretty much. And I've shopped there. They have a great rewards program to start with. Let's just pull things out size-wise. Got this great Summer Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. I've heard good things about it. Um, so it is Exfoliate Cleanser, which is not Exfoliate. It's not the same thing. When I first saw this, I thought, oh, wow, you know, that's not bad. But it's actually a pretty good size. It's, uh, let's see, 1.7 ounces. So it's about half the size of a full size. This is a really good value. Okay, the next thing I got is this Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. We also got this set of ampules. These, this is really a sample, um, but it is Signature Intense Growth Features High Level Natural Whatever. Um, at home intensive treatment, repair photo damage and improve visible signs of aging, brightening. So these ampules, what you do is you snap them and the um, serum comes, it's, it, it's so much like this, the ampules that we used to use at the hospital. It would soak the sponge with whatever um, solution we had in that ampule and and then you'd stroke it on the skin. So I'm thinking I might be able to get more than one use out of these. And finally, the last thing is a big heavy cream. Ooh, let me see if I can get it out without, there we go. The packaging's a little excessive. Ooh, so I wish that they would not have done this as far as, oh, I'm having so much trouble, there we go. <laughs> I wish they hadn't packaged it in such a bunch of foam and um, cardboard. Derm Store, if you're paying attention, please don't use packaging like this. Um, it's really harmful to the environment. I will pull the spongy parts out and have to throw them in the trash, but the cardboard itself is recyclable. 
And this is very nice day cream. It's in a glass jar, which I really appreciate. It is 1.7 fluid ounces or equivalent 50 mLs. And it is day cream with five pepside complex and shea butter. I, I, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I got a Paracone MD cream and I will use that at night because it just feels too heavy to me. I have normal skin, but I might try this and use it as the morning cream. So let's wait and see what happens. So that is all the stuff that was in my April box. And I'm taking those two samples and I'm putting these four things into the trying all the things. Now, moving on to May. Okay, first we have a retinol B3 serum. So I'm gonna put this in with my sample Sunday for today. Okay, so this is Babor Hydra Plus and it comes in these vials. Now it's still wrapped in plastic. I'm gonna leave it that way until I use it. I'm thinking I might be able to get more than one use out of these. This says, um, well, this is seven. You know what, I'm gonna have to open this because I'm curious. Oh my, this is seven. Holy crap, this is not a just try it and use it. This is a use it and keep using it type of a product. Now, if I decide that I love this stuff, I priced it out on Derm Store and it really was not horrible. I'm gonna try to make these um, last for more than one time. I'm really impressed by this. Like, thank you Beauty Fix for giving us something interesting. So yeah, I think that this might be like one of those things that you just really have to um, use consistently to really see a difference. This is what the box looks like when you open it properly, <laughs> which I did not. Um, and these are like really awesome. You shake them first, you snap the top off. They do show someone with uh, using the plastic thing. Okay, so another thing that's in here and it totally settled is this apricot whip moisture. This is actually a half an ounce and it is from Eminence, which is a very expensive brand. Apricot whip moisture, 15 mLs, one uh, half fluid ounce. I appreciate that this is in a jar because it'll be a lot easier to use than trying to get squeeze the last remnants out of, of something out of a um, tube. Now Eminence, I got a um, face spray once from Beauty Fix for Eminence and it was freaking awesome. Absolutely freaking awesome. So um, it's definitely, uh, I'm looking forward to trying this and this might be, if it ends up being fabulous, it might be worth breaking the bank for. Okay, now this is a sample and this is tri Try peptide repair neck cream. Now I already have a neck cream, so uh, I tend when I take my sample Sundays, I do try to finish them. I don't always, but um, I do try to finish them and I don't think I can finish this one. So I think I'll put it in with the trying all the things. And finally, something I really was looking forward to, I hear great things about this brand, Holly Frog, um, let's see, Scrubby Wash. So it's a face wash, but it's a scrub face wash. I've already separated out three of the samples and these things will go into, you know, I should just put this in that sample bin over there. Um, so I will do that. This, all of this stuff is gonna go into my trying all the thins things bin. Um, even though this is May stuff, um, I'm gonna go ahead and include it because um, I'm just really excited to try all this stuff. One thing I like about Ipsy is every time you get an Ipsy bag, it's different from what other people get. That makes things a whole lot more interesting. So I am going to add this to trying all the things, which I will have to update because uh, I haven't tried anything in the month of May and it's already mid-May. Anyway, I'm gonna take the, everything out of this envelope and we'll see what I got. So this is a really pretty bag for April. This is actually one that I would use. This month is, the theme is flower power. And so 
this is all about flowers and actually this is one card that I'm actually kind of interested in. Here are the products that I got. One of them is a um, points bonus. So I will let you know first what that is. I'll let you know which items were picked for me um, and which items that I picked. Okay, so two items were picked by Ipsy for me. One item is a bonus item, this one, and these three items were picked by me. So I'm going to start first with the bonus item. And this is called One Kind. Um, it is Dream Cream Nighttime Moisturizer with Squalane and Rosehip Oil. I read about this moisturizer. This is actually a 1.7 fluid ounce full size um, that I got with my points. Um, and by the way, points actually help anyone who is a subscriber to Ipsy. If you would like to subscribe using my link, I will get some more points and more things that I can show you guys. It does help the channel quite a bit. So anyway, this one kind dream cream, I will definitely give this a try. This is going to go into trying all the things and I'm thinking this might be like something that I stick to if it's really awesome. So now on to the Ipsy bag. Now, Ipsy did pick this Vibrid C Daily C Balancing Foaming Cleanser for me. I don't mind because I have the Vibrid C Serum, but this is a nice way to add vitamin C. This says it's a powerful proprietary um, blend of Vitabrid CG gently removes impurities and dead skin cells without stripping away the skin's moisture. Ipsy all also picked this for me. This is Avant Pro Collagen Isodecane Trolamine Propyl. <laughs> Man, there's so much stuff here, but it is an age. Um, Restore, I think that says. Yes. Um, it's Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer Touche Eclat. Don't, uh, I have to look at what Touche Eclat means because if that just means cream or something, then I'll know. But it's called Avant Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer Touche Eclat. I also got, let's see, what is this? Complex Culture. Uh, let up concealer. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So I opened all the last three things because I knew I was going to be putting the camera down in between. So this here is one of the choices that I made as complex culture uh, concealer. This looks like it might end up being my color. It was very hard to figure out what color it was the best for me. Um, and this seems like it's going to be a good color. I took a chance on a fragrance. And let me tell you something, <laughs> this is like smells so beautiful, I just can't get over it. Um, I wasn't sure about a perfume stick, I haven't had one in a long time, but I stroked it on my hand and it doesn't leave any color behind. It twirls up just like a lipstick does. Let me see if I can get the top off without, yeah. And you twirl it up just like a lipstick and stroke it on and twirl it back down. I love the smell of this. Like this is like, oh my God. Um, it smells like a little bit of citrus, a little bit of flowers. It's just absolutely beautiful. Okay. And this is a palette that I don't have. I have a couple of the Violet Voss Fun Size or whatever palettes. And this really appealed to me when I took a close look at it. The colors are really pretty. It reminds me a little bit of the modern rem Renaissance, which I do not have and never purchased. Um, it has just the right mix of matte colors and shimmers. So I think I'm going to really enjoy using this. So I'm going to put all of these, including the bonus item, into the Trying All the Things box. The box is going to become a rotating box because this is obviously the May um, box. I will not be expecting June for a while. So anyway, let's continue with the video. <laughs> Hi, this is Mary from Reviewer's Diary, and it is time to start a new trying all the things. Now, 
Last month I tried everything with the exception of maybe two or three items that I did not try. Um, I'm expecting that might be the case again this time. If I get another serum, I'm probably not going to open it because I already have like a couple serums that I'm currently using from the last month. Now, uh, one thing I do want to mention is my the box from Fashion Stuff was a little bit, a little bit late, like a lot of, a lot of bit late. Let me back up a little bit. Um, so you can see my bin of happiness. Um, so I do have um, the Ipsy bag in here and I have, what do I have in here? Oh, it is the beauty test tube stuff. And I have this one which is empty and it is labeled the box. Okay, so as you can see, I have my um, thing that I love. I've had this since my very first vanity. When I had a collection that, you know, these drawers are pretty big, like really big, like the size of a shoebox. Um, and that was all the makeup I had. Life was really simple back then and I kind of wish sometimes that that is still the only amount of makeup that I have. Now in the top I have items that I recently purchased like this nail polish, a um, uh, couple of concealers. So, uh, you know, I should just show them to you. I did do a CVS haul video and it had, it had two of the items and one of them I bought at another CVS visit. Um, and this, these, the nail polish. So I have um, this iridescent nail polish. I have, it's funny because I, just took my nail wraps off today so I don't have any polish on yet but um, I have this um, iridescent polish which I really like I also have this concealer from um, Joa it's got a sponge applicator I don't know if I'm gonna hate it or not I just figured let's give it a try I also have from the creme shop a mascara it sounds so much like the thrive mascara and also a covergirl under eye concealer with a sponge it reminded me of my old favorite the uh, although now it would probably be too drying but it reminded me of my old favorite which was the maybelline age rewind those items that i picked up at cvs will be part of this um, trying all the things. So anyway, I did receive the box. Now, oddly enough, it doesn't have like the box written on it. It's just a black box, um, but I don't care. Um, you know, I subscribed for a year. I was getting a little testy when it didn't arrive, you know, basically on time which for them is usually by the end of the month my box got held up somewhere so I didn't get the box until yesterday and so I'm going to be including everything from the April box in this despite the fact that I received it in May I still am going to include it because it is April um, products and hopefully I'll get the may box a little bit more timely so i'm going to do the unboxing and put things in here but i'm going to wait until the last thing now first first thing i have here is my ipsy bag stuff my ipsy for april of course i have the usual five items but there are some things that i really kind of like now i am going to link the unboxings for both the test tube and ipsy up above in the cards so you can look at them individually if you'd like to one of the first things is this moisturizer and it's from uh, what i like is the bottle i don't know if you squeeze it or not um i know that it's now i can uncap it because i know i'm going to be trying it it has a nozzle so yeah it is squeezy i didn't know like with it sealed I couldn't squeeze it so um, it's an unusual shape and um, yeah it's 
called and then I met you so it's a gel moisturizer that's got like healthy superfood stuff in it and so um, you know I'm definitely looking forward to trying that then I met you I wonder if it's Korean skincare but it says calming tide uh, calming something gel gel cream I'll give you more information when I do it, when I use it. Okay, next thing is a cleanser. So this is Fast Pass, which is an AHA BHA cleanser. I do enjoy these types of cleansers because they do make I don't have oily skin. I have normal sometimes dry skin. Never oily really ever. But I still enjoy these cleansers because I feel really really clean when I use them. Okay, next thing is Coco Kind, and I believe this is a gel. Yep, it's a gel cleanser. It's really like basically a first cleanse. So I'm really looking forward to this because I always use, do a double cleanse. So this is definitely appropriate to me. And then there's something from, and I picked that by the way, that the cleanser the cleanser was, this was picked for me, the um, item. Um, I picked that first cleanse and this was also picked for me and it's Pixie Primer. So I like primers. I, I'm thrilled to be able to give this a good try. Okay, and I got an Ofra lip gloss and, you know, I don't know which way is up, but uh, you know, I'll give you more information when I when I try it, including the color and all that. So that's the five things from Ipsy. Then the bottom drawer is the beauty test tube stuff. They now have something where they don't send you a magazine type booklet to showcase the things that are going to be in your box. Instead, they send you a card where you can take a picture of the OCR. Now this box came with a lot of stuff. Of course it should because uh, Beauty Test Tube is what I consider one of the most expensive. It's every other month so that's good but it's pretty expensive because they also add $8.95 shipping to every box and that that just bothers me. Okay so one of the things that we got was a face mask. Now face masks are not going away. I've been vaccinated, a lot of people have been. It makes me feel safe going for a haircut, but it does not mean to me that, um, this is an accordion style, by the way, you can see the pleats in the back. Um, it doesn't mean that masks are gonna go away just yet. We have to be cautious because, you know, there are other variants out there, so. I feel safe getting my hair cut, which I did, um, you know, the, for the first time since this pandemic really became a stay home affair. Uh, one of the things I was looking forward to getting was this Manicadar Mist. Now there's probably nothing magical about this stuff, but I do like the brand. How did this end up back there? I guess it's one of the things. Um, I thought I bought this. I did buy this. I think I bought this at CVS and somehow it ended up in the back of this drawer. Pretty sure they didn't send a Cram Shop Hello Kitty item. So this will go right back where it belongs. I don't know how it ended up down there. Okay, another thing that came in this box is a half size of this beauty. But anyway, it's a compound that wears your skin away. <laughs> It's an exfoliating compound. I think I got into this box through the bottom. No, it's all taped. I'll show you the bottle when I give it a try. I'm a little bit afraid of this stuff because, I, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of exfoliating products. So, yeah, well, um, I guess I have to try it, don't I? <laughs> okay, and this is a serum. I may not open this because I have so many freaking serums. If this turns out to have vitamin C, I think I might hold off on opening this and um, get through some of my vitamin C first. I do use vitamin C serum every day. 
One of the things that I really like that we got is a sleeping mask and it is um, a good brand, Save, it's called um, Anti-Pollution Sleeping Mask. I have a couple sleeping masks. I really enjoy them. A lot of times at night I'll put on a light moisturizer and then a sleeping mask instead of, you know, a real heavy moisturizer. And then there are a couple more things, literally just a couple. This lip stuff, it is basically called Lip Rally and it's a, an exfoliator, exfoliating stick. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't have real lip problems, like some people have super dry lips and so they find that an exfoliator is a good thing. I don't really have that problem and so um, I think I'll just enjoy it just for the whole, you know, I'll enjoy it. <laughs> And the last two things are sample. One is La Roche-Posay Vitamin C. I will try this because it's only a little packet. It won't take over my, my medicine cabinet and replace the vitamin C's that I already have open. So I'm looking forward to this. If La Roche-Posay would ever get out of China and become cruelty-free, I would buy that Lipicar stuff in a heartbeat. Lipicar moisturizer. I got a sample of it and fell in love. And that's the problem with samples, but I won't buy it because it's not cruelty free. And But this I will try. Um, I will try things that are not cruelty free that come in my boxes. And the other thing, I've been really curious about this Marvis toothpaste. I've seen this on the internet. It's not terribly expensive. So I'm hoping I like this because if I do, I might end up ordering that. So. I'm not going to put the mask back because I'm going to actually start using that. I have a few doctor's appointments. Yes, now that I finally got vaccinated, I feel like I can go places. So I may actually break this out and start using it. Um, but I'm not going to... Well, maybe I'll leave it in there just, just so that you can see it on me one day. Um, and let me put the Ipsy card back. <laughs> All right, and so now I'm gonna do an unboxing of this, the box, and everything's gonna go into the designated drawer for this. Let me know how you, how you feel about this, trying all the things. You know, so often we get stuff and we do unboxings and then you never hear back from us about any of the products, and this, Oh, this began as a review channel and I am trying to get back to those roots. Um, so, but then I do add these beauty boxes and I have to stop. Um, I just have to stop. So anyway, the topic for this box is Bloom and there are six products. I already know because I was watching other people do their unboxings. Um, and one of the things, believe it or not, believe it or not, the thing that most excites me in this box is this. I have a whole bunch of face cleaning cloths. Well, I have to cut like a giant piece of tape to get into this box. But I have a, um, I had purchased like a 20 pack of cloths that I wash with my regular laundry. And they come out great and they're you know made of bamboo unfortunately over the course of time i've accidentally thrown a couple away because you know you get used to like using a cotton round and taking your eye makeup off and bleh, and then wiping your face off and throwing those things away and i think i have thrown a few of them away at, totally accidentally so i'm really happy to get this this won't go in to be tested because I'm going to start using them right away. So they come in their, in their bag that I have a better bag to wash stuff in that has a zipper and a little bit finer mesh, but it, they come in their own bag. Oh, they're 3.1 inches too, which is nice because you can actually use them like a giant um, cloth to take your makeup off. Yeah. Now there's a slightly scrubby side and a very smooth side. Um, these are nice, but I won't use them until after I wash them. So I'm just gonna throw this whole thing in the next load of laundry that I have. 
Anyway, I've been using a lot of hair products now. The box smells... No, uh, it doesn't smell. Um, I thought some of this leaked out. It's just not quite full. Um, but I really enjoy getting sprays and gels and, and things for my hair. Now this is uh, ostensibly a protector spray, but you can use it either on wet hair that you're going to air dry or on hair that you're going to dry with a uh, blow dryer. So I really look forward to this and um, it's really a nice bottle. Okay, next thing I'm just going to reach in is, um, oh, Beauty Baton. Let's see which one I got. This is one of those weird two-part things where um, you get like either like a cleansing stick or I'm just gonna tear it open. I can't believe it. I'm not trading anymore. Okay, this is skin face scrub. Wait a minute. Skin slash this is the one I wanted. Ah! I did not want the one that was makeup and I got the one that I wanted. This is skin um, face scrub and the other side is face balm. Oh it's what's good is it doesn't smell like anything which is great um let's see yeah thank you thank you fashion style i also got um it looks like a pencil from julep let's see oh it's an eye pencil oh i hope it's in this color <laughs> Um, yeah, this is from Julep. I guess Julep is still around. I know I've seen it on sale at Ulta. They just don't have their box anymore. And sometimes they have sales and they um, email me because I was originally a subscriber to the box. Oh, right. Oh, right. Um, this is... Ooh Let's just... Oh, my God. It's so soft. That stroke done. So soft. It's really nice. Um, and I love colored pencils. They're actually really in right now, not just because they're in, because I've never been one of the cool kids, but I've always really liked colored liners. Um, so that is super nice. Okay, next thing is a, it's a palette. I know it's a palette and it goes for like $32 or something, but it is sealed. Let me see if I can just get, take it off because I want to make sure at the very least that it's not broken. Okay, so I have seen this on the internet already. And I have seen somebody stroke it on. Woo. It's not broken, but a little bit of the shimmer from one of the shadows is all over. So um, this, I have this one, which is like a rosy, very, very sparkly rosy tone. Um, this one is a gold sparkle. I could have used a little bit of this today because I accidentally went ham with the gray and oh. Um, then there is this brown, which is a nice transition shade. And this one is, um, I don't know, that's a little too dark for a transition shade. Um, and this is good for a brow bone. So I don't know how I feel about this. You know, seeing it in person, I'm not sure. I think what I'll do is I'll try it and uh, declutter it to my daughter if I don't like it. Then there is, oh my god, I love Bella Pierre. A matte lipstick and liner in um, what they call nude. Um, this is actually quite rosy, so it's not, I don't know if I'd call this nude. Do I dare to open it? Yes, I dare to open it. I had another Bella Pierre lipstick. I don't think I have it anymore. I think it went bad. Oh, I really like this color. Oh my God. <laughs> I may break my own rule and oh, I really like this color and use this. Now this is a slightly pinky liner. Um, and it's went on really nice. Oh boy, and the lipstick is really pretty. I'm gonna stroke it on myself because I, now, just know when I do my giveaway, 
things that I put in the giveaway are not things that I've ever stroked, tested, swatched, or anything. They're all brand new. This I'm going to have to give to my daughter if I don't like it. Oh, but oh my god, it's... <laughs> Oh, Bella Pierre, you have you have converted me. Look at this color it is so beautiful. Um, and there, oops, there's the liner. All right, uh, let me revise my opinion here. Um, it says that it's matte. It's so I'll just dot a little bit of, of lip gloss on top of it. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's got a very slight, very subtle um, sheen to it. Not shiny sheeny it's like um a satin finish so yeah uh i'm not sh the only thing i'm not sure about is that eyeshadow palette but you know what um we'll see <laughs> if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thumbs up really does help me it makes my video um more available to other people here on youtube and also please um subscribe so anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary, and have a beautiful evening. Good night.